Welcome back to a, be a beautiful jungle. If you're new here, my name is Sharon and I'm gardening in zone 8A. And if you're new here, <laughs> we have seven children in our home, ranging from age 11 to two. So on days like this that I'm doing voiceover, uh, it's because my house is loud <laughs> and I have something very important to tell you. <laughs> so today I am starting uh, my peanut plants. My husband said I say um, the word wrong. So I'm being very cautious on how I say peanut plants. <laughs> so, um, so I, right now I am, whew, when this video was done, I was three weeks out from my last expected frost date, according to the farmer's albanac. Today, I am two weeks out from my last expected frost date. Expected means that from previous winters, from previous weather, um, years before, it was this, that date was like the last frost date for the year, okay? Anyhow, so what I decided to do this year, this will be my third year growing um, peanuts, and the variety that I'm growing are jumbo peanuts and they were purchased from urban farmers. So this is some of my harvest that I saved from 2023 and I am pre-sprouting them. Three reasons why. Um, I want to make sure that they're good and that I don't need to purchase any more from any more this year. So I can just use what I have because uh, this year I want to grow a lot more than I did in year 22 and year 23. 2024, I want to grow a lot more because I want to try to make peanut butter this year. Um, so I'm growing a lot more. Reason two, my second reason for this is because last year the squirrels were having a field day with my peanut plants. And... Um, if you've seen my previous videos where I was either harvesting or cleaning my garden and I was finding peanuts in different beds, which is not a problem, but the a problem just come in when I don't know they're there and their peanut plants are growing there. And then, you know, when it comes, I can't harvest them. So I lose that. I, I lose that harvest and we don't want that to, ha to happen. And my third reason is that peanuts, which would probably help you. All three of these reasons would probably help you as well, will be helpful to you. But they're growing period from the time you sow them in the ground is 130 days to 160 days. And according to Farmer's Albanac, um, in zone 8A where I am, I have 209 growing days. And that is from my last expected frost date. So I am getting a jump start on my peanut harvest. So what I have here is two pieces of paper towel. Um, I wet it. I'm showing you my nails. I right before this video, I did some ginger turmeric wellness shots and I didn't wear gloves. So the turmeric stained my finger. If you haven't seen my wellness um, shot video. <laughs> I was, it, it, it's there. You can see it, but we're talking about peanuts right now. <laughs> so what I did was, um, put two pieces of paper towel at the bottom, wet it, and I am sprinkling, um, my peanuts into the bowl and I'm putting them on one layer, making sure that they touch that wet tissue. And then I took two more pieces of paper towel, wet them, um, put it over the peanuts and wet the paper towel. But then I picked them up because the peanuts weren't, they weren't wet. So I sprayed the peanuts. If, if you're doing this now, I would suggest you, you don't need to put um, the paper towel on top of there. Just put the wet paper towel at the bottom, spray your um, peanuts and then put the cover on there and put it in a nice warm place and that's the end of it within three days three to four days they did sprout and that will be the next clip that i will show you so 
95% of those peanuts that I put in there, um, sprouted. <laughs> I was praying that they all sprout, but I was hoping <laughs> that all of them don't sprout. I, I don't know. I was, I was 50, 50 on it because I know it's going to be a lot of work. So I'm just showing you, um, I have to put all of those into sea sard and sell. And it, it, it's a lot. It was a lot of them that I had to do. So I purchased a 72 seed start and sell tray from Dollar General um, for $5. And um, I think I've shown you the, um, the thing that I, per what I purchased and showing you that's their name, American Seal seed american seed and for some reason i thought i only had 72 i didn't count but i thought i only had 72 peanuts and turns out i had um 252 peanuts and i will show you all how they look okay because they did grow and they grow grew into a peanuts and they sprouted and they're growing beautifully the green is up and everything and I will show you guys that so I ended up with 372 cell which is 216 and one half of that uh, <laughs> I always find oh I, I was also showing you like on the side of it is it's, you get what you pay for. There is $5. It serves its purpose. It can be reused if you're gentle with it, but I dropped it and I cracked it and I need to be mindful of that when I am um, watering, bottom watering these plants that I can't bring the level all the way up. So what I have in here is the black gold potting mix. So I wasn't too concerned about using shift, you know, how I would shift out my, uh, my soil, the potting soil when I'm starting seeds, but I wasn't concerned about the, the wood chips inside of it. I wasn't too concerned about that because I'm showing you the peanuts, right? They're big. And that part that is sticking out, the white part that's sticking out, that's the root. That's going to turn into the roots. And that's the part that you put down in the soil that goes down. So peanuts have a round part and a pointy part. And some of them have both, both sides are pointy. So this is like really good if you're not too sure as to which part you're supposed to be putting in the soil, putting down, facing down in the soil and you pre-sprout it, you'll see what goes directly in, what part goes in the soil, right? Fun fact that I've learned growing peanuts, they are a part of the legumes family, which are beans and, and lentils and legume family is, uh, seeds that are enclosed in a pod that are edible. Didn't know that. <laughs> so I found that out. So just like your beans, they don't require a lot of nitrogen because they make their own nitrogen from the air. And which means that they are a benefit to your soil also, like beans are. If you've seen my video when I planted bush beans in my new, my two new beds to add nitrogen to them. So that is a benefit in growing peanuts also. And the benefit of growing peanuts, you have your own peanuts at home and you can make peanut butter and you have benefit to your peanut shells. You can use, and I have done this before. I, I have used peanut shells as a mulch in my indoor plant for my indoor plants. Um, you can put them in your compost. I'm starting to put them in compost since I'm growing it. I am doing a lot more research on peanuts and the benefit of them. And I start putting it in my compost, which I will crush them up and put them in my compost. And they have, they have a, um, compound in them that brings 
carbon into your soil, micronutrition, um, soil microbes. It has um, a great, peanut shells have great source for carbon. Um, so it's important for your, so it brings a benefit to your soil. And when it comes to your fertilizer, you don't need that much um, nitrogen. So you will get something that has, uh, that is high in potassium, which will be the K. Your NPK, the potassium is your K. The ideal temperature for growing peanuts are 83 to 93 degrees. Peanuts are peanuts are self-pollinators. So they don't need the wind or bees to help pollinate. They are self-pollinators and they do produce a flower if you have never grown it before. And of course, I will show you once those flowers start to blossom. So these are my peanut transplants. Um, this is March 17th that this was, which is today. And this is seven days later because they were started in pre-sprouting on March 10th. So this is seven days later and you see how big they've gotten. So learn from my experience. I always say, I pray you've learned something. And what you need to take away from this is start them closer to the date that you're going to be putting them outside. Uh, also start them in a bigger cell because now I have to transplant all of these into a bigger cell because the roots are coming down. It, you know, it's getting, it's too big. So <laughs> I pray you've learned something. Um, I see a mistake or an error as a learning experience because this is my first time pre-sprouting my peanuts. So please do not forget to subscribe like this video and share the video. And remember on March 28th, I will be doing the drawing for the two giveaway prize. I have a blessed day. See you on the next video.